Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about three very important concepts related with tire dynamics and vehicle dynamics in general which are known as slip angle, lateral force and aligning moment. So basically what happens is when tire interacts with the road, different forces and moments are generated and depending on the magnitude of those forces and moments, the overall vehicle performance is governed. So similarly, consider this case, uh, consider this to be a tire and this to be like the forward direction of the tire and it's more trying to turn in the right hand side. So what happens is whenever a wheel uh, or tire is trying to turn on the right hand side and is traveling in forward direction, the lower part of the tire or the rubber which is sticking on the road will tend to stay in that particular direction whereas the rest of the tire will move towards the right hand side as shown in this figure. So because of this deformation in the tire, a force is generated which is called as lateral force and which acts in this direction. And this lateral force actually acts a little bit behind the center point of the wheel. And why is that? It's because of the reason that whenever the deformation takes place, the forces don't act in one particular point. Like because of the tire and road interaction, all these forces are happening over a length of the tire footprint and this the resultant of these forces actually act behind the center point of the tire and therefore this lateral force is behind the center point and consider this to be a distance x so whenever a force is acting at a particular distance from a hinge point a moment will be generated and in this case or in terms of tires this moment is called as mz or aligning moment so basically what MZ does is it tries to align the lower part of the tire or the rubber which is interacting with the road with the rest of the wheel, rest of the tire uh, to reduce that deformation and hence it's called as aligning moment. And slip angle can be defined as like when the, there's this deformation between the lower part of the tire and the upper or overall tires which is moving in the right direction. So this deformation, the direction, the angle between direction of travel and direction of heading is known as slip angle. Like the tire is actually slipping in the lateral direction and it's called as, uh, and is given as I saw it denoted by the sign of alpha. So try consider for uh, easier understanding of this concept, consider this thing, use your hand and put it on your desk and try applying pressure on your uh, hand no, on the desk and try to move your hand on either side like for example right hand side in this case what will you notice is the lower part of your hand or the skin which is touching the table will tend to stay or resist the motion and will tend to stay in that particular direction whereas rest of the hand will move little bit towards the right hand side that's what's actually happening when the tire forces are generated or when we are trying to maneuver the tire in one particular direction left side or right side right side in this case uh, the lower part of the tire raises that motion and hence the lateral forces generate.